Testing, testing, testing. Test, test, test.
from Springfield, Virginia. We are live at the St. James alongside Andrew Muirhead. Yes, you are hearing that correctly, Andrew Muirhead. My name is Matt Fusillo. It is a pleasure to bring you another game of Terps Hockey. We're back at it after a weekend off. Maryland plays George Washington University tonight, Friday, October 28th. And it is a pleasure to be having the one and only Andrew Muirhead with us tonight. Just about six and a half minutes left of warm-ups. You see Maryland wearing their typical row jerseys, the red jerseys with the red helmets, black pants, red socks. And the Colonials are just taking the ice now. So we will step aside for now, and we'll be back right in time for the opening face-off. Yeah, yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the St. James in Springfield, Virginia. Matt Fusillo, Andrew Meerhead on the Maryland Hockey Network. Thank you for joining us. We are just about to go through the opening roster introductions and then the national anthem. So stay tuned. We'll step aside once again. I'll leave it unmuted so you can listen in. Scratch that. I guess we are not doing the roster introductions and the national anthem. We're going to get right to it. So thank you for joining us on the Maryland Hockey Network. And just about set for Maryland and George Washington from the St. James. Faceoff is won back by Augie Burkhart, and we are underway. Terp starters for tonight, as usual. Liam Eden, Tucker Healy, Patrick Biganowski, Brian Teske, and Daniel Tomaszewski with Eric Bernberg in that. He gets his third appearance of the year, second start. 
as Healy was jamming that one. Almost got a goal early. About 30 seconds in. Teske shooting. That one goes wide. Now Tomaszewski claps one again. It's blocked in front by Ethan Redden. Maryland still keeps it into the zone. Great first shift here from the Terps. Exactly what Coach is looking for. At center ice, it's flicked in by Redden, who will go to the bench. Now Daniel Tomaszewski. The last time the Terps played here, a double overtime winner against Virginia Tech in the ACC Showcase with Daniel Tomaszewski playing hero that night. There's Sawyer Von Jess. Tomaszewski taps one ahead for Newdom. Newdom shooting, save, and rebound by Duchesne. Now Takis fires one high into the glass. Here's Takis getting hounded. Taken by Burkhart. Here comes George Washington. Teske collides with Jacob Bergerman. Now here's Duchesne shooting one wide of the cage. This is Takis for Maryland, now Duchesne. It's gonna be hard to tell these guys apart tonight. You got 24, 26, and 28. We'll get to the lineup right when the first whistle comes. But here is the Colonials. Cade Lewerlin. And they'll dump it in. Looks like this will be an icing. So let's get to the lineup. As we said, the first line, nothing changes. Eden, Healy, Beganowski. Second line, quite a few changes. Joey Takis and Travis Duchesne are both playing on the second line. Obviously, no, no Mirrorhead tonight. He's up here with us. No Trevor Drake either. So those two are playing with Max Newham. Third line, Chase Wilson, Andrew DePoy, Andre Bazin. And the fourth line, pretty interesting. James Body normally plays defense. He'll play his first game on offense tonight. Fourth line, left wing, along with Matthew Kravitsky and Andrew McMenamin. As far as the defense, no usual changes, as that one is covered by Eric Bernberg. Brian Teske, Daniel Tomaszewski, Andrew Itzkovich, Hunter Airy, Jetson Koo, Piper Holman, and Brandon Chen is the floating skater with Henry Peltier backing up Bernberg. Speaking of Bernberg, faced off to his right. You know, it's, it's good to see Joey Zakis get a look here in the top six. He's found his goal score in the top six. He's been rewarded by Joey. Here's Andrew Itzkovich. Iskovic backhands one. And we have a whistle. As body clips Nevin McNamara. Pretty interesting whistle. Face off is one back by Maryland. Body in the corner, goes behind the net. And here is Ethan Redden. Flagged down by Tomaszewski, now taken by McMenamin. Plays catch with Body, fourth line out there. Kravitsky shooting, save. By Graham Roy. Body gets taken down, he gets up again. Puck is flipped up along the glass and out of the zone. Piper Holman will collect. Just about four minutes into this one, here come the Terps again. Kravitsky gets a shot off, it gets deflected into the glass. Now he goes off to the bench. George Washington will handle the puck. Sent back in by McMenamin, but here comes 
The Colonials once again. Augie Burkhart. The leading scorer for the Colonials. He's got 10 goals in seven games. Five assists. Number 25 in gold. That puck is covered by Bernberg for a whistle. This is the second matchup between the Colonials and the Terps this season. First one was at the Gardens Ice House last month. Maryland won 8-5. Goals from Trevor Drake, who scored two. Obviously not here tonight. Brian Teske scored twice. And more goals from Tucker Healy, James Boddy, Max Newham, and Liam Eden. As here's Healy himself moving in. Fighting for it with Biganowski. There he steps into it now. Punches one up for Healy, but he cannot handle. Now Healy takes it again. Jacob Bergerman is hit by Ari into the boards. Now Jetson Koo looking for Eden. But right near the scorer's table, it's Kaj Bowery, and they flick it right back in. Last weekend, Maryland was off. That Florida Gulf Coast trip got canceled, so they haven't played in two weeks. Now behind the net is Max Newham. Puck goes off the helmet of Joey Takis, it looks like. The puck went over the netting and into the stands. You don't see that here at the St. James too much. So we'll have a neutral zone face-off. Face-off is won back by Asher Fabes. Now Justin Holt. Holt for Carlson. Iskovic keeps it in. Plays it across for Teske. Teske shoots, and that one was redirected wide. Iskovic again. Punches one up. Takis behind the net. And it'll be covered by Roy for the whistle. Shots are 6-1 to one in favor of Maryland. 0-0 hockey game. About six and a half minutes in. Third line is out for Maryland. Wilson, Depoy, Bazin. Here's Iskovic with the puck. Shooting one, and that one goes high. Now Teske. Plays it for Chase Wilson. He gets slowed to the puck. Now Depoy. Depoy sauces one for Iskovic, who shoots again. That was blocked. Trying to keep it in is Iskovic. He still does. Itzkovich for Chase Wilson. Wilson's been one of the guys who's been really impressive lately. Scored those two goals back at Laurel. Him and Kravitsky have been playing really well in that fourth line together. They get a promotion because of it. That's right. Number 13. We're in black tape today on the hockey stick for the first time this season. That's the player insight right there. Here's Finkelstein, now Holman behind the net. Trying to get a centering feed in front. Denied by Holman, now taking that towards center ice. Here's James Body behind the net. Playing offense for his first game. Holman going after at it with Matthew Cuccia. 
Now taken by Beganowski up ahead for James Body, who's still out in the ice. Ely comes back on. Now Hunter Airy for Beganowski moving in, and that one's blocked. And pinballs out towards center ice. Terps are doing a really good job standing up everything at the blue line here. Absolutely nothing going forward for GW. Now here's the captain, Liam Eden. Walking in, he's got a two on two, shooting, and that one goes high. Here comes Beganowski. Got another an odd man rush as that one shot goes off of Graham Roy, who sprawls out to cover it with the glove for another whistle. So the first line getting a couple chances there. Liam Eden on that rush, looking for goal number eight on the season in his eighth game. He's got 14 points so far. Off the face-off, it's Itzkovich. Right in front for Healy. Now Beganowski shooting, and he pulls the trigger wide. Tucker Healy. Now Teske will just fling it right back in. Brian Teske also making the switch to black tape. Nice play by Teske to pick off that puck. Now here comes Beganowski, another two-on-two. Yuganowski and Eden, the shot. Rebound is there, and Eden taps it home. Right at the doorstep, it was a loose puck. And we were just talking about Liam Eden and his seven goals so far. He can make it eight. Down the line. Familiar sight, seeing the captain lead the line. So Liam Eden, his eighth goal of the season. His 15th point, and Maryland is on the board with 10.06 remaining in the first period. Generally, I get a ride to the rink from Liam. And today, there's a shot saved by Bernberg. His first real test. I'll get to my train of thought in one second. But here comes Max Newnham. He's got a three on one if they hurry. For Duchesne, back to Newnham. For Duchesne again. Too many passes there as they couldn't handle it playing hot potato. I was saying on the way to the rink, here comes Newnham again. And now Tomaszewski shoots. That one goes wide. Chase Wilson goes after it. Good pressure here by the Terps. Now they finally get it out. Here comes Augie Burkhart, the leading scorer for the Colonials. He'll shoot. That one goes up high off Burnberg, and he gets the rebound, too, for the whistle. And as he takes his helmet off, looks like the puck caught him in the helmet, so he'll get some readjustments. Here's Chase Wilson for Andrew Depoy crossing the red line. Depoy is being hounded by Jacob Bergerman. Bosin's able to keep it in. Being pressed in the corner. And it's pushed ahead for Airy. We'll have to do the power play. It's like number 29 in gold. This is Matthew Cuccia. We'll see this new look first unit for the first time. Krabitsky getting a look. It is 
Healy, Biganowski, Kravitsky, Eden, and Tomaszewski. Faceoff is won by Healy. He's been a machine on the draws this year. Wins a big one. 71%. Unreal. Biganowski with a quick, quick tip there. Now Tomaszewski shoots. Pad save by Roy. Here's Eden. Looking for Kravitsky behind the net. And the Colonials will get the clear. So Tomaszewski plays it off the boards for Eden. Eden right in front of Bernberg gives back to Tomaszewski. Here come the Terps. 122 left in power play time. Healy moving in. He'll stick it behind the net. Drops it back for Tomaszewski. Now Healy again. He gets tripped up. And it's chopped at by the Colonials. Cade Lewin. Eden regains the zone. Kravitsky chases after it with Healy. Puck goes off the linesman. Maybe a lucky break there for the Terps as Eden was offside. So we'll take this back to the neutral zone. It was a lucky break for the Terps. GW was, was really gassed there. Those five out there for at least a minute and a half. Get away with it on the offside to get off the ice. This will be a center ice faceoff. 47 seconds left on the man advantage. Second unit is out. It's Duchesne, Noonum, Takis, Teske with Depoy on the faceoff. Burkhart wins it. Bernberg plays the puck for Teske. Just over 30 seconds left on the power play. Here comes Travis Duchesne. And we have another whistle. Puck went into the bench, it looks like. Max Newton having grown up playing plenty of defense. Coach loves having him on the breakouts the way he moves the puck. Skates like a demon. Over there. Puck goes into the bench again. And this will be an offensive zone draw. 27 seconds left on the Cuccia penalty. Face off is won by Burkhart. Depoy picks it off. Good stick by Depoy. Now Duchesne backhands one wide of the net. Teske along the blue line. The quarterback of the second power play unit. Now Duchesne shooting that was saved. Duchesne will get the puck again. Back for Teske. That'll do it for the man advantage. Here's Newnham in front and he couldn't pull the trigger. Taken by Burkhart. Odd man rush. Skating into the zone. He fans on the shot. Pushed aside by Teske. McMenamin trying to handle it. He gets it ahead for Noonan. And it looks like he's going to the box. Maryland coaches aren't happy. They think they should have got the initial call. We'll see his first kill on the Terps after the break. It's going to be Biganowski, Eden, Ari, and Tomaszewski, the penalty kill unit. Finkelstein for Cameron Bernard. Now Finkelstein, number 17 in gold. Gets the puck on net, saved by Bernberg. Rebound, he got that one too. Finkelstein now. Shot by Sawyer Von Jess. Now Finkelstein again. Collected by Kuchia. And now Von Jess. 
Finkelstein again. Von Jess on the other side. Colonials are yelling, shoot. Bikanowski trying to kill time. He'll get to the bench. They're only get a, a full change besides Airy. Here is Airy in the corner. 55 seconds left on the Colonial power play. Hammered down the length of the ice by Bazin, and Roy will take it. Here's Ethan Redden putting on the brakes. Wilson trying to chop at that one. Hounding for it along the boards. It goes behind the net. Now Andrew Itzkovich. He'll wrap it around the boards, but taken by Berghart. Augie Burkhart. There's a shot. It's redirected. Looks like it might have hit a teammate. That's Nicholas Carlson down on the ice. Looking for the tip of the high slot. That ramp up play, you just shoot it along the ice and ramp it up on net, but this one straight up. Face off to the right of Eric Bernberg. It's going to be Kravitsky on the draw. He's got James Body with him, along with Itzkovich and Brian Teske. The two number 11s on the draw. It's won by Carlson. Now here's Teske. Lead pass for Body. It's a two on one. Now two on O. Oh. Body is in shooting and he flicked it wide. He took it on his backhand and he just missed the net. He did everything right there. But put it in the net. Now here's Body again for McMenamin. It goes off his stick. You see it in practice. The kid's got hands. Made a nice move to get it over to his backhand. He just. Just barely push it to the left of the cage. Here's Body again looking for McMenamin. Now Itzkovich gets one on net covered by Roy for the whistle. 324 left in the first period. 1-0 Maryland. Shots are 13-7 in favor of the Terps. Second line hops back out. Receiving some encouragement from his teammates there, getting back to the bench, looking for his second goal of the season. So close. Here's Cameron Bernard. He dumps it in. Tomaszewski collects the puck. Newnham chops it ahead for Duchesne. Duchesne going after it with Von Jess. Now Takis steps in. Takis with the puck. And now Duchesne once again. Tried centering that one. Kept in right on the, on the blue line by Tomaszewski. Von Jess is held by Newnham. Puck is played by Bernberg. Jetson Koo has it now. Shimmies a little bit. Now gives to Tomaszewski. Chevy flip. Now Tomaszewski again for Newnham. Newnham bumping into Carlson. And now Brandon Chen. Nice confident play there from the rookie team man. Wilson and Tomaszewski fighting for it with Carlson and Asher Fabes. Now Brandon Chen. His skating has been real impressive. Brandon Chen has good footwork. You wouldn't tell that he was a rookie. He looks like he belongs. And he's getting the trust from the coaches, seeing important ice time with one of the most important team men in the program, Daniel Tomaszewski, who again and again has just been standing up GW at the blue line. I mean, they have seen nothing trying to get at number six in the red. Defense has certainly not allowed much to get through. Newnham and Burkhart in the faceoff. Hounding for it in front of the net. Now Finkelstein a shot. Someone got a piece of it and went wide. Here's Burkhart. Kicked aside by Newnham.
Tomaszewski sword fighting for it. It was a big hit by Noonan, but we have a whistle. Couldn't quite see what it was. Take it center ice once again. Depoy and Burkhart. 123 left in the opening period. Off the stick of Bernberg. Now Andrew Itzkovich. Teske. The two rookies play catch. This is a very young defensive core for the Terps. We talk about Chen. Now you got Teske and Itzkovich. As Depoy shoots one and he scores. Andrew Depoy, beautiful shot, and he makes it 2 0. Got his fourth of the season. A rip coming down the right wing. He loves that shot. We've seen him put it in the net earlier this season. An important goal against Delaware. He does it again. That is his fourth goal of the season. He just walked in right along the right wing and fired that one home. 2 nothing Terps. That's very much a deploy shot. Coming down the right. Lifting up that back foot and just snapping it. Quick release. Here is Teske in the corner. 50 seconds left in the first period. Patrick Beganowski with the puck. Now Tucker Healy. Eden stays onside. Healy moves in now. See if he's got the bag of tricks with him. But here come the Colonials. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Very fitting time for that. 20 seconds left in the opening period. Cade Llewellyn. Now Teske. Here comes Tucker Healy. But chopped ahead. Now Healy in front of that and he scores. Two goals in less than a minute. This one comes with eight seconds left in the period. Tucker Healy with his fifth goal of the season. And it's 3 0 Maryland. Boys are rolling. Not a lot of pushback here from GW. Terps are entering the zone cleanly, making plays on the puck, winning 50 50s, and they're being rewarded here on the score sheet. Healy wins the faceoff. And that'll just about do it for the opening period. Maryland will head to the locker room with a 3 nothing lead. Shots are 15-7 in favor of the Terps. Goals from Liam Eden, Andrew Dupoy, and Tucker Healy. Eric Bernberg has looked real sharp. I'd say very solid showing here in the opening 20 for Maryland. Carter's going to be very delighted with the, the opening 20 from the boys in red. Coming off a bit of a break, we'll be happy to see that they're keeping things simple and making things easy for, for Bernberg. So we will step aside here on the Maryland Hockey Network. We'll take a break. We'll be back in time for the second period.
Testing, testing, testing. A good first from the boys in red. 
according to my calculations, GW only succeeded on 15% of their zone entries in that first period. I'm sure coaches in the locker room reinforcing all those good habits that he saw in the opening 20. Just saying, keep going, boys. Keep scoring. Let's get our confidence up. A, a bit of a foreign opponent tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, Westchester University. Not sure the last time the University of Maryland faced off against them in an ACHA D2 game. Daniel Tomaszewski and, and Chen, some standout players in that first, aside from the obvious goal scorers. Skating well, playing with confidence. It's exactly the kind of game you want to get your rookies into, ease them into the ACHA, get their legs moving. That transition isn't always easy, but coach is doing a good job this season of managing everybody. We'll be back for the second soon. Plenty of NHL action around the league tonight. Penguins and Canucks, puck drop, imminent. Canucks finally winning their first game of the season the other day. Bruins take down the Blue Jackets 4-0. Johnny Goudreau. Off to a rough start. Uh, Islanders dismantling the Hurricanes 6-2. to two. Just making sure you guys are up to date. The Avalanche stumbling out of the gate a little bit. Well, uh, hovering around 500, but you'd expect a little bit more from the reigning cup champs. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, we will see the debut of the new Arizona 5,000 capacity arena at Arizona State University tonight in the National Hockey League. Must be nice. 
We'll be back shortly for the second. And we are back for the second period on the Maryland Hockey Network. Matt Fusillo, Andrew Muirhead. Scores 3-0 Maryland. Sharps are now shooting from left to right. Looks like Piper Holman is going to start out on defense with Hunter Airy. First line on offense is out there. For the Colonials, Augie Burkhart on the faceoff. And we are underway for the second period. Here's Tucker Healy. And we have a penalty. See what the call is. Not sure who he's pointing at. Off the face-off. That's Eden shooting one. And we're having technical difficulties. We're going to try and get that fixed as soon as we can. But it's Terps power play here. Here's Healy shooting. That one's blocked. And now Tomaszewski. And it gets flicked back out towards center ice. We're going to try and do the rest of this man advantage. If it doesn't, get back on. We may have to start a new video if nothing works. Is that one goes wide off the stick of Beganowski. Going to try and keep you guys updated on this power play while we try and fix this issue. But Kravitsky gets hit hard into the boards. We're going to have another delayed penalty here as Kravitsky went down hard. So it'll be a five on three for the Terps. And we apologize for the inconvenience once again. We're trying to get this solved out.
Again, we apologize for the black screen. It's a five on three for the Terps. So once that is over, we may have to start a new live video. So if you're with us now when we do end it, we will start a new one right after. Generally, the service in this rink, it tends to, uh, you know, the same issue that we're having now, it happened last year, I remember, a few times. Liam Eden going close there. With a back throw shot off the pipe. Here's the Terps in the offensive zone. Five on three. Newnham for Teske. They're out there with Beganowski, Keeley, and Eden. Here's Teske with the puck. Now for Eden. Eden shoots. Saved by Roy for the whistle. And so there will be 15 seconds left. Coach Carter generally likes to switch it up a little bit on the five on three. With a bit of a different look, a 2 1 2 rather than the 1 3 1. And they play just a man up. Teske and Newton up top. And we've got a break for GW. Here is a breakaway. Moving in on Burnberg. Save. And it looks like that was off the stick of Matthew Cuccia. Seemingly out of nothing there. Now here's Liam Eden. Crossing over center ice. It's a five on four now for the next 53 seconds. Beganowski now for Eden. Eden gets hit and goes down. Now Newnham along the blue line shooting. It was blocked. Now Healy in front, covered by Roy. Rebound, and it's in the net. Tucker Healy again, his second of the game. So that'll be a power play goal. And again, we apologize for the inconvenience. We're going to try to start a new video. So if you're with us here, Please rejoin. We'll send another link. Looks like that one's been waved off here. <laughs>